The body is not a container, but a receiver. Consciousness is not just inside the brain. The brain is inside consciousness. And this leads to us to physics, to the quantum world, where particles exist in probabilities, and observation collapses in reality. Mathematical physicist Sir Roger Penrose, who won the laureate of Nobel Prize in Physics in 2020, argued that classical physics cannot account for consciousness. So when people talk about the hard problem, that is to say, how can you have something different coming in, which is perception or awareness right, or right. whatever it is, which isn't part of standard um, evolution of the ordinary physical system? Well, that is because you have, in an orchestrated way, these proto-consciousness elements coming together in a coherent way, and that is, is what constitutes consciousness on this particular view. Along with anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff, he proposed the orchestrated Objected reduction theory, OK OR. So you have superposition, but we don't see superpositions. We, we see everything in definite states. So how do the multiple possibilities reduce or collapse to definite states? And that's still not really well known. There was a theory, uh, and still is, that an uh, external observer, a conscious observer, looks at the superposition, and that causes the collapse. Inside your nuance, there are tiny structures called microtubules. According to OK OR, they can hold delicate quantum states existing in multiple possibilities at once. When those states collapse in a specific orchestrated way, a moment of awareness is born. And Penrose suggests consciousness may be the foundation of quantum fabric of reality itself.